you will, and turn your Bibles to the book of James. We're going to study James 1, verse 1 this morning. Uh, we would ask that you uh, request for a prayer and ask the Lord to help us with this. We, from time to time, seem like we uh, uh, get things kind of confused and everything, but we hope this morning it will be uh, a good lesson. So in James 1, verse 1, James, and of course, we, uh, as we studied this, we see some pointers on this in, in, our, in the uh, uh, scripture there where some of them made notes of And James was a half-brother of Jesus, according to what uh, we can understand here. But James, a servant, in verse 1, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, Greeting. So all the the apostles had moved around and scattered around, and James is writing to him, and he says in verse two, "My brethren, count it all joy." This is this is this is good stuff, people. And if we can do it, uh, we'll be blessed. Count it all joy when you fall into divers temptations. Amen. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith work with patience and this uh, if we ever I mean it, uh, have a time uh, e even worldwide of our patience being tried and even down to uh, uh, each home uh, brother Larry and sister Donna have had the problems and I'm sure that uh, they're not the only ones in the church that's had problems but uh, I know of them and, and then in our country every time that uh, you want to Hear the weather forecast and you turn the TV on, you get the, the uh, other stuff about who's died and how many thousands and hundreds of thousands, and, uh, and a lot of it's just a bunch of bull. And right. so, but anyway, it's a hindrance to us. But through this, uh, I have learned uh, what the off button on the TV is, uh, and I don't use it near as much, so it's a blessing. But he says here, knowing this, that the work trying of your faith. And this, uh, this trying of your faith is, is that you are, uh, are you're kind of disappointed at the way things are going and, and you're saying, Lord, we're, what's, what's this all about? Well, it's a trying of your faith. Mm -hmm. And this morning, uh, uh, it may be that this is the, the last little go around and we may uh, be here another 150 years. I don't know what the thing of it is. Remember this that when you're tried uh, it's not because that you've done something that's wrong but the thing of it is the trying of your faith increases your your faith and it Man. draws you closer to the Lord and so as he, he, this is what he's saying and it, 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 it this this uh, trying of your faith produces uh, patience and patience is what we need uh, uh, every day in our life to, our life because the devil knows just exactly how to uh, stir around and get things started. And uh, if you don't believe uh, what uh, what we're saying here this morning, read the book of Job. Right. Read read what what happened uh, with the devil talking to God. And uh, uh, you know, Job. Uh, God said to Job uh, to the devil, "Hey, you're you're trying you're pulling me against Job." And Job is a, a, a special man. He's a, he's a perfect man. He's complete. But anyway, the devil has the, the uh, uh, way of doing these things, and it's the same way with us this morning. Uh, he, don't, he don't want to get us encouraged. We, uh, we don't need to be encouraged because, uh, you know, that we're having a small group because, listen, the Lord blessed us Amen. in that we could come to church and that we could we could be under uh, the regulations of setting so far apart and doing this, and we had church. And the, and the devil don't like that. He's uh, he's kind of rowdy about uh, anybody going to church and, and our our governments and, and things like this. Hey, uh, they have no they have no care for us really and truly because right. they insist on us doing these. And and uh, it would have been worse if it could have been. So. This is some of the things that James is talking about, but he's, he's talking in verse 3 here. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect 
and the entire wanting nothing. And this, uh, uh, this perfect, it's, it's, not, it's not a person's perfect, but you're complete. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, we know good and well this morning that our body is not perfect. Uh, we know that. Now, we that are saved know that our soul is. It don't sin, so it's complete. And it's complete with God. And so this morning, he says here, let patience have her perfect work, that you may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. And this morning, this, this wanting nothing is that we have God the Father, God the Son, that's watching out for us. And listen, it ain't this moment that they're, that they're concerned about. They have already seen the end. Mm -hmm. They've already seen the end of everything. They know how it's going to take place. They know how it's going to happen. They know how it's all going to end. And so, listen, all we have to do is to depend upon the Lord and Amen. have patience and depend upon Him because, hey, if we have, if we have a rough time, listen, it's, it's showing the Lord loves us because... Mm -hmm. Uh, like I said the uh, other day, uh, these chastisements sometimes that we have in our life, it's just showing the love of God in our life. And uh, some people don't like to hear that. Some people don't agree with that. But he loves those that he chases. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. this morning, here he says, if any of you lack wisdom, uh, Ask, in verse Matthew, it says, 7, 7, it says, Ask, and ye shall receive. Amen. And this wisdom that he's talking about is uh, how that we are to live our lives, how that we are to understand more about the scriptures and all these things. And he says here, uh, James says, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that giveth to all men liberty and upbraideth or reproved or finds fault not and it shall be given him. So this morning when we don't understand something, it's our duty uh, to know enough about the Bible to understand that we are to ask God what this is all about. What, what, are, what am I missing? Where is it? And sometimes we read the scriptures and we read them and we read them and we read them and we don't understand them. And the thing of it is we are to ask God uh, through the Jesus Christ would you please explain this to us? Mm -hmm. would, the, would you let the Holy Spirit speak to our hearts and let us understand what this is? Because that's what the Bible says. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask God. Amen. And so this morning, if, 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 if there's something that's uh, bothering you, if there's something that you don't understand, you can ask the Lord. You can ask uh, your pastor. You can ask maybe a brother or a sister. Hey, could you enlighten me on this? And and listen, that's what God wants us to do, is to know what he's what he had James to write down here. And so he said, here he said, uh, here that this upbraid, he says, that giveth to all men liberty and upbraideth, or it it uh, it don't find fault, and it shall it shall be given him. But he said in verse six, let him ask in faith nothing wavering. Amen. So this morning, if you're going to ask God, if you're going to ask the Lord Jesus Christ, if you're going to ask the Holy Spirit, please help me with this. It don't mean that you are to stand before him well but this or yeah but that wavering and, and he identifies the wavering, how to, uh, how to uh, explain wavering. It's like the ocean and the waves, they come in and they go out. They come in and they go out. Listen, that's the way with the human flesh. Yeah, but if what? Yeah, but if what? And so he's saying this morning, don't let the flesh have anything to do with you asking God about a problem. And if it's not a scripture, if it's something that's going on in your life and you don't understand it and you, you want it to be better, you want to have better... Uh, conditions in your home, in your family, uh, in your uh, uh, love towards one another. Listen, ask God, ask Him to help you with these Amen. things, and He can help you. And so He said here, but don't, don't secondhand Him, and don't argue with Him, and don't uh, try to get ahead of Him. But He says, but let Him ask in faith, 
nothing wavering or doubting, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. And so the wind um, uh, is a type of the devil uh, tossed to and fro. And you know, uh, a lot of people make the expression sometimes, I, I tossed all night long. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't, I, I couldn't do this. I couldn't do that. Listen, these are things that the devil does because he's in charge of your flesh. Mm -hmm. And he causes these things to happen to you. And so when these things do happen, the best thing for you to do is try to seek the leadership of the Lord through prayer. And if you're in, if you're laying on the bed of the night and can't sleep, you need to talk to the Lord. Right. You need to say, Lord, uh, hey, and he may be just he may be, he may be just wanting to get tell you something and get you uh, a peace of mind because listen, there's nothing there's nothing that will will hinder you any more than wavering, staggering. And uh, somebody says this to you, somebody says that to you, and you think this, and here comes the devil, and he's going, no, no, no. But that's what he's saying here. He's asked the Lord about these things and, and, uh, and uh, through faith. So he says here in verse 7, For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. He that wavers, he that is like the wave, he that is tossed through and through, back and forth by the devil. He says, a double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. A double-minded person is one that you cannot, you cannot pinpoint him down on anything because he wants to jump to this, he wants to jump to that. And so that's the reason why there's so many people that cannot uh, understand God's word. They're so, that's the reason why there's so many people that uh, 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 wants to argue about it. They're unstable. Mm -hmm. they are, and, and the thing of it is, the majority of them, I wouldn't say all of them, but the majority of those that are unstable and uh, un misunderstand is because they're not saved. Right. If, if they are and they get into this condition, they're in a backslidden condition, uh, uh, one of the two. And, and listen, people, saved people can get in this condition when they get in that, in that condition that they're wavering. And, uh, and you go to questioning the Lord about things and you get to ponder it on yourself and letting the devil get into your life and, and puts his two cents in. Well, listen, he's got some gold. He's got some gold he can put in there, and he can get your attention. Mm -hmm. And so he can tell you things that is not true, but they sound good, and he'll get you out of out of out of playing with everything. So this is what James is warning the people to do. He says, "So a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways." Now, now, verse nine: Let the brother of low degree rejoice in that he is exalted. So this morning, uh, a person, a brother of low degree, uh, he says, let him rejoice because he exalted. But, now notice this, the rich man, how he, he's not of low degree. But the rich, in that he is made low, because as the flower of the grass, he shall pass away. And so the man up here, the, the brother, he says, of low degree, he is one that is serving the Lord. He is the one that's, that believes in, in the Lord Jesus Christ. And he says, let the brother of low degree rejoice in that he is exalted. And so the, the man that, that, that was of low degree, he is exalted in Christ. But the rich man here that is depending upon his worldly goods and, and uh, he thinks that he knows everything and he's got a, 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 an answer for everything, he's got a plan for everything, he says, but the rich in that he is made low because as the flower of the grass he shall pass away. And so uh, this, is, this is the condition of a person that's trying to serve the Lord and one that depending upon himself, and of course the, he, 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 the rich man is the flower, he's the beauty, he's the beauty of the earth, he's the one that's got the money, he's the one that people uh, take their hats off to him, he's the one that, yes sir, no sir, he's the man that doesn't know the Lord, and it says here that he, 
he will he that he is he is made low because he is as a flower of the grass and he will pass away. Notice, for the sun is no sooner risen with a burning heat, but it withereth the grass and the flowers, therefore falleth, and the grace of the fashion of it perisheth. So also shall the rich man fade away in his way. Right. So, one of our, one of our, you know, one of the things is that so many people desire is to be rich. They see the things of this world, and they desire it more. They desire it more than they do a home and glory with the Lord, because that's what they go for. That's what they follow. That's what they, they, to the last day when they wither and they die, they, they, they got that on their mind, and that's what they want, and they, they're not going to listen. You can. You can try to talk to them, and uh, they won't listen. They've got this one thing on their mind, and that's to stay rich and to have people patting them on the back and, 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 and making out like they're their friends when, listen, they're not their friends. Right. And so this morning, that's what money will do for you. But, but, but in verse 12, Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried... He shall receive the crown of life, Amen. which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Now, we see this word tried in Hebrews 11. It says, by faith, uh, when Abraham was tried. Mm -hmm. So, you know, so many people, so many people want to say that, that the Lord tries people and tries people and, and does this thing. Listen, he has no need to try you. He has no need to because he knows what the end result is before he starts. Amen. And so, uh, you know, if you if you're if we're, if we get to the point where that God just got his thumb on my head and he's trying he's pushing me down. Listen, you're in the wrong boat. But he's trying to help you, and uh, so many people don't understand that. He's trying to help you, and, and so he listen. Let no man say when he is tempted. I am tempted of God, for God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempteth he any man. And so, uh, so many people that uh, they use this word tried or tempted uh, or proved, listen, they're saying, God's trying to prove me. God's trying to, or trying to tempt me or to tease me or, or do something. Listen, God knows everything about you before you ever, you ever come out of your mother's womb. He Amen. knows it all. And so he knows what you're going to do in this situation too. So he don't have to try to do nothing. Uh, he 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 can do it if he wants to. But listen, he says here, James says here that uh, let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God. God don't tempt. For God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempteth he any man. And so when these things come along, a lot of times in your lifetime, uh, you can you can say this that God's trying to get my attention not to tempt me but to encourage my heart mm -hmm. and to help me to see the condition that I'm in and to help me to uh, kind of stop for a minute and think about where I'm at and what I'm doing and uh, uh, get back in, in, in fellowship with him. So he says here uh, in verse 14, but every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust right. and enticed. And so, like I said about the rich men who go, people are born uh, into this world, and, and some of them has that desire beyond anything else to be rich. Mm -hmm. And the devil picks up on it, and the devil helps them along. And uh, a lot of the times, that I, that's, that's how your rich people create so much. And you, you know, a lot of times you can see them, and they say, everything he, everything he touches turns to go. Well, he's got help. But it, it's, it's, it's the, most of the time it's the devil using that to keep him lost and one of his candidates for hell. And so that's, that's the danger of riches. Then he says in verse 15, Then when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth a sin, Amen. and sin when it is finished bringeth forth death. And so this is the, this is the thing about uh, man being tempted or man being uh, warned. Listen, God warns us 
through different types of things. And if, if, he, if we don't get what we want, listen, the best thing for us to say and think, well, I didn't need it. Right. Instead of running off somewhere saying, well, God don't want me to have this, and God don't want me to have that, and he's tempting me and all this. Listen, consider where all good things come from. Consider what, what is in your life and that God loves you. He loves you. Amen. He's, he loves you because he sent his son to die for you. And so he's not going to put something, if he loves you that much, he's not going to let you have something that you're craving, that you're wanting, that this old body needs, that it will hinder you. And so when we pray, we pray our Father, if it's been your will. Amen. That's, that, that, will, that will solve the whole thing. If we get it, fine. If we don't, fine. Because you can just say, I didn't need it. Uh, and uh, uh, <laughs> God loves you. <laughs> God, I, I just can't keep up that. God loves you. Amen. And he'll come right back to you. And he'll say, I'm proud of you. And he'll give you something much greater and much better than what you'd ask for. So you keep that in your mind this morning because... God loves you. Now, in verse 16, do not err, my beloved brother. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. Amen. And cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variance, neither shadow of turning. Of his own will begot he us with the word of truth that we should be a kind of first fruit of his creation and so are his creature and so this morning uh, he's saying this that we ought to be he got us and, 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 and that we should be a kind of first fruit of his creature and so I say again to you this morning uh, with this scripture he loves you and he wants you he wants you to share heaven with him and uh, it's his will that none should perish. But listen, uh, there's going to be a, it's going to be it's going to be terrible. But notice, wherefore, my beloved, in verse 19, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear. Very good, very good information here and advice. Slow to speak Amen. and slow to wrath. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. Amen. And so the, your wrath that you have, listen, it's not of God. It's, it's of the devil. And it's in the flesh. And so be careful with it. And don't use it. Because it's, it's, not, it's not pleasing to the Lord. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness. And receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your soul. Amen. But be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own self. For if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his face, natural face, in a glass. And that's what he's saying here in this in verse 24, he tells what this man is looking into a mirror, and uh, he sees his face, and he turns and walks away. He don't he don't see his need of anything in that mirror. It says because in verse 24 it says, for he beholdeth himself, and goeth his way, and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. Right. And so when he sees that, if you would say mud on his face. He turns and walks off. He don't make any attempt whatsoever to go get a washcloth and wipe it off, clean it off, and be presentable. So this is this is the man here uh, that that is like a man beholding his natural face in a glass. Now, notice here in verse 25. But whosoever looketh into the perfect law of liberty and of and continue therein, he being not a, a forgetter, hearer. He being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work. Amen. This man shall be blessed in his deeds. 
If any man among you seem to be religious and bridleth not his tongue, but deceiveth his own heart, this man's religion is vain. Amen. Pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father of Father is this, to visit the fatherless and the widows and their afflictions and to keep himself unspotted from the world. Amen. So this is chapter one of the book of James and there's some awfully, awfully, awfully good advice here how we, can, how we are to conduct ourselves before the world and before God and to how that we're to act. And so uh, there's so much, so much there that uh, uh, it, it would take uh, years to understand it all. But in all of it, God loves you. Mm -hmm. And the things that Amen. are happening, things that are happening in your life, hey, He loves you. Mm -hmm. And uh, He's got a plan. He's got a plan. And it, it's it's for you. And it's for me. And uh, we just, all we can do is just say praise the Lord. And uh, go on and try to uh, keep going. Amen. Thank you all for listening. Amen. Amen.